You have already seen how to move, rotate and scale objects using the parametric tool, but there are also several modes of this tool. So just let us activate the tool again. And uh, this time we're talking about these first three icons here, which is first is the centered bounding box cube mode, then we have the cubic surface mode, and then we have the real surface mode. So this defines which kind or which part of the surface you like to use for an action. So you have already seen that by control clicking on the bounding box cube, we can select edges or faces to uh, rotate around the center points, for instance, holding down shift or the edges, or of course, if there's nothing selected, you can just click by holding down shift on the edges or the faces to move or rotate around those elements. But you can also choose the second mode to use the surface of this cube. This time, by holding down control, you can see that we get this kind of indicator here, which is aligned to the bounding box cube. And by just doing a left click, you can place this marker anywhere on the uh, bounding box. So let's say we control click here and now you can rotate around that point. So basically it allows us to freely place this kind of uh, rotation mark anywhere we like on the surface of the bounding box. You can also use this to move the object, but it's basically would be the same as uh, choosing uh, just the shift key on one of the box sides. So this is um, quite important or interesting for these uh, rotations, which can be transferred by using the third mode to the real surface of the object. So we can place the marker here, let's say on the shoulder, and now you can rotate the object around the surface no normal on that position. So this is about the first three icons to decide uh, which kind of elements you like to use, the uh, bounding box or the surface. Control clicking somewhere outside of the object deselects any kind of uh, selection there might be. So this is about the first three icons we have. We have another set of um, similar icons uh, which are meant to be used for snapping. So these three icons, uh, the first three icons define what you like to use on the selected object and the second three icons define which kind of element you like to use on the second object which is only relevant for snapping. So let's say we have a cube. Scale it down a little bit so you can just hold down shift and place your mouse cursor somewhere outside of the object to scale proportionally up or down. I select this human scan and I'm in the first mode and do a control click here on the base face and I would like to place the uh, human somewhere here on the cube. So I'm just selecting which kind of element I like to use. So this would be also the cubic surface of the second object. So that would be perfectly fine if we were, I would like to have the human centered, let's say, on the topmost surface here. And then I just have to decide what kind of snapping I like to use. You can see the last icons here in the palette are all about the snapping I would like to use. So full snapping would just 
place the selected part somewhere on the second object. It would be 2D snapping, so um, this was would just move, in this case, the um, human up to reach the uh, same height as uh, the cube surface, but not placing it directly on the cube. This is about scaling and so on, so we will have a look at those later. So this time we, I would like to use full 3D snapping on the bounding box of the second object and I selected one side on of my object. So now to choose the side of the cube I would like to place the human on, I just hold down control and whenever I'm hovering on the second object without having to select it, I just choose the edge point, the edge or the surface uh, where I would like to place the human on. So I'll just click here, so you can see just by clicking on the faces, um, the um, selected object will just be s placed on this kind of surface I have. So selecting this here again, so you can see it's always centering on the surface. So when I use the second mode, which is about the surface of the cubic bounding box, and hold down control, you can see that I now can place the marker just by holding control somewhere on this cubic face. So it doesn't have to be centered anymore. And third mode be, would be the real surface. So in this case it's a cube, so it wouldn't make a difference. But I'm using maybe a sphere. So it's still selected. Holding down control, you can see now it's just using the cube. And if I, if I switch to surface, I can place the human somewhere across the surface. And as this face is still selected, you can just hold down shift to rotate the figure anywhere you like around this center point. Just holding shift and left mouse button to control the orientation. 